everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video you will learn how to create such a counter in Figma using local variables. With variables you can build high fidelity prototypes using fear frames. Stay with me until the end of this video so you don't miss anything. Let's begin. Launch Figma and create a new file or open an existing one where we want to add the counter. We start with the number 0. I select the text here and write 0. Let's resize it a little bit. Next, we are going to create a plus and minus. You can use any icons here or you can create them using the rectangles, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the second method. Also change the size and round the corners. Duplicate and make a plus sign. I put the two rectangles into a group and change their names. This is what we get. Now let's put them into shapes. I'm going to use a circle. Here I select the shapes, change the size a little bit and move the menus to the inside. Then I do the same with plus. Don't forget to make frames out of shapes, it's very important. Let's change the color of frames. Something like this. Next, duplicate the two bottoms and move them to the right. Change the color to a darker one. As a result, the color of the shapes will change when evolving. We're going to select the two frames with minus and then we're clicking create component set here on the top and do the same thing with the plus. Perfect. Now we get to the animation. Go to party type mode and select the first minus. Pull the arrow to the second object, as you already know from my previous videos. And here we see all the settings that we are going to change. In the first variant we will choose on click, change to instant, then uh, make an arrow in the opposite direction and here we select after delay. One. I repeat the same thing with these two plus options. OK. Now the whole button needs to be added to auto layout and uh, add a fill color. As a reminder, select three elements here and press Shift A. Also round the corners and adjust the spacing between them. Change the color to something darker. Good. Now the most interesting and useful part, we will use variables. Here we select local variable, create variable, add number. In the left column, for example, we write total and in the right one enter a number. First number will be 0. Select here only 0 and click this variable icon here. Let's now create a new frame, change background color, 
Then we put our frame inside. Perfect. Choose plus here and we add in direction in the right side. And we click on plus over here to add action. We select set variable. We need to select our total two times here. Choose addition here. Plus one. So when we press plus, one unit will be added to the number in this section. Now we need to make one more variable for minus. Select in direction. Set variable. Click two times on total. And here we should choose subtraction. Here will be minus one. Also, we need to add conditional here. As a result, zero will become the minimum digit. We select if total not equal to and here we press zero. Important detail that we need to drag set variable inside conditional one. And that's it. Let's see what we have. Do you like it? Link to this Figma file will be in the description so you can use it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful for you, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with other designers. See you in the next video.